Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome, welcome to another exciting and evening and amazing spectacular propaganda cards from your host, Imperial Dame, the one, the only master propaganda here of Psych Defender of the Fatherland. Off here to a 1v1. Oh, you guessed it, it is. Emily Fields in the north, it is Jimmy, fighting here for the American Army, United States, freedom, democracy. He had taken on the role of the first armored division rifle company, tactical support, and mechanized, which will influence versus the south, that is Eisner's Kreutz, fighting for the Oberkommando Command West, Germany. Deutschland, das Vaterland. Here with the second Panzer Division featuring Breakthrough, Overwatch, and Luftwaffe Ground Forces. And as always, a big hearty thanks to my page supporters. Without them, I'd not be able to do all of this. So, big thanks to every single one of you who support me by Patreon. Other people can join the exa heroic examples by pledging on Patreon themselves. Links in the description, or consider donating by PayPal. Links are in the video description for that as well. I'll ask you to comment, like, share, subscribe, press the bell button. Anyways, off to the races here. We shall, of course, see what Dobson has chosen. There's only a few interesting ones here. But double rubber start versus double false grenadiers. We got the Sturm Puny heading westwards backed up here by the false grenadiers. We got the second one ready here from Eisen's Kreutz base. And we got Jimmy here focusing, looks like, hard east of the rifle squad, leaving just the reaction squad here in the west to try and see Swiss and fuel point and hold it against any German assaults. Except that's where Eisen's Kreutz is going to be laying down the primary effort of his assault that the Sturm Puny ring to push forward. It's backed up here by the Fultzkamins, meaning any American team will definitely need to be thickly concentrated or they will just get, you know, blitzed right through. Although Eisen's Kreutz is perhaps concerned about the potential wrath of squads, so he's actually not blitzing through that. Meanwhile, Jimmy's just grabbing top points elsewhere. we got a third Fultzkamins, we've got a point grabbed here by the railroad track. Sturm Puny just waiting there, race is moving out. Fultz is laying down sandbags. Third rifle squad halfway done. There you go, a bit of light skirmishing. Sturm Puny is still winding about there. So when do we get to shoot something? I mean, we got see Sturm Gewehrs. I want to shoot some. You always want to shoot some, Ludwig. Always. Pushing for the car point here. Slowing head. He's using the full squad's basically as scouts and sure doesn't run into Sturm Puny. He's like something get the murder, I suppose. Makes sense. But again, it does mean he's just doing nothing with him, which is also something I find slightly, you know, uh, Dubious, instead just allows him to move his other forces in elsewhere. So there's a bit of an issue there early on. Fires the squad again. He's being super hesitant, but against allowing like, Jimmy just to be aggressive elsewhere. So you know, thumbs up. Jimmy's using initiative again, just punishing Isis Crotch from dilly dallying about a bit too much. I mean, at this point again, he should be aware of the most of the infantry here, and he's still just doing nothing with them because he's forgotten about them sort of briefly. So, but you can sort of see the danger again getting too past. When Ice moving about, they're rushing back towards the center now, where things are going much more aggressively and much more heated up here as Jimmy is just moving back with a huge swath of infantry half a side well 1.5 strength platoon there got full squad there on the way bit of skirmishing here I imagine we're seeing the a lieutenant here for Mr. Jimmy yes indeed might want to use some cover though we're going to roll here yeah, the lack of cover makes it a bit easier here for Isis Cross to back. We got more troops running here. We got the Elsworth for these and coupons still. This does give Jimmy a bit of a fuel lead here with Isis Cross in the early game. And there you go, praying for charging head. Two rifle squads left still. Isis Cross falls a bit banged up. We got Bart Wire here on the sandbags, at least close to the sandbags. So a bit of back and forth here, trying to bait them into some shots here from the rifle squads. They turned out there for Jimmy, freedom and democracy. I mean, we got four folks out here for Isis Cross. That is a Lot of full scum deers, guessing definitely not break for leaving either Luffy of the Ground Force as a potential option or Overwatch. Basically pushing forward here to draw far away from the Rav Squad. This is basically just using this bait. Sturm Pines push back here. There you go, full squad flanking up here, but now trying to take advantage of the confusion. He charged it for the Rav Squad, but that just encourages more fire here from the gems. There you go, more Raving here. It's turning it's an utter massacre in the western fields with just dead troops all over the place alongside the dead cows. Check the poor Jürgen has almost managed to stick his head up its ass. Good thing he's already dead then. My god, what a way to go, yeah. Good thing he's dead. Turning versus the false gun it is. Pushing them back, the lieutenant of course overwhelming due to the fact he has a Thompson sub machine gun there, which again I would like to note is basically a better assault rifle from the Panzer Grenadiers. Ground the West Point here, heading westwards there. Trip reinforcing. Got the ambulance on the. Well, not ambulance, mechanized upgrade there for Jimmy. No sign of doctrine yet for either side. Comfortable hardcore TF Isis Kreutz. Sending eastwards here. Grab the eastern fuel pump for the lieutenant. Season the western fuel point. Sandbagging up there. So far, not much else happening here. 
getting a bit of quiet here. Frog's crossing about to look to hit the car point. Very good. Pushing eastwards for the Fulz Grenadier. Good turn now. Long range still down to three men. Instead of going to have our time as the Fulz is, you know, behind like coming a good range there. But they are low on health, so technically there's a chance to attempt somehow lands like some really great hits and just drop several Germans like, you know, he's something out of a Hollywood movie, but statistically not likely. But it could happen. Battle Pet with almost done, still light tank here for Jimmy. Meanwhile, this Crotch has no anti tank weapons, so he's going to be a bit uh, vulnerable there. He doesn't even say have a Panzer Shrek related to the Raketen and Panzer Buxer. Ralph's Court pushing westwards here for Jimmy. Freedom and democracy. Sees an Eastern Vic 2 point there, so good. Ralph's Court was the Fulton Gunners. Up close, the Fulton is very much lose out to the Ralph's Court in most situations, particularly for back and expose the back to the Ralph's Court. So that's going to be a win here, I think, here for Jimmy, unless somehow Iceland's Kreutz gets some incredible luck here, or there's another squad around that does end up retreating there. Stood light tank almost done. Ambulance almost for the Jimmy. Eastern Victor Point being held up. We do get the flak half tank of Iceland's Kreutz, of course, a solid pick, but will fall a bit shorter against Jimmy's Stuart Light tank, the M5A1. More faults moving forward here for Iceland's Kreutz. There you go, Stuart arriving here alongside the ambulance, rushing forward with a bit of light armor, flat half track, halfway done here. Now the side of yet to commit to a doctrine, they both keep their cards close to the body. Got the northern point there. Guessing not mechanized, and simply most places we've gone for it by now. So more likely to be something like rifle company or tactical support. Tactical support with the Clyde people. And the Brownings always quite popular. There's some players do like Ralph Company with EC8s and some other stuff. But we'll have to see, we'll have to see. But like if you sort of go by the typical American meta game, tax support is the most likely at the moment, with Ralph Company being a second. Mechanus at this point seems fairly unlikely, but not impossible. Weapon racks here for Jimmy, good idea to upgrade his men with some more firepower, and also up the bazookas if he needs it. Black after having whole forts here for Iceland's Kreutz and Deutschland. Using Eastern Point. I mean, so far, Jimmy's got a fairly good map drill against uh, Eisner's Kreutz here, so using the Western Point there. Fultz gonna oh, never mind, got a swimming force of the camera for Eisner's Kreutz. Very good, and getting here the Fultz gonna is immediately sniping their Dita. Three kills, close to four kills here. Any moment now. Flag up landing a few hits on the Stuart. Actually, explosion in the rear that makes it definitely a good chance for the Flag up to do some damage to the Stuart. Not entirely sure what happened here for Jimmy. Does get four kills in the south. He'll be the swamp. We got the Zugas up there as well. But should get them turned out before the Fultz with the Sturm Gewehr 44 wipes them out. And fun fact the Fultz Guns were envisioned as sort of, in air quotes, modern infantry that was supposed to be like heavily equipped with assault rifles. The reality was that they couldn't get enough of them. So a lot of them were more equipped like regular grenadiers or, you know, they had MP40s instead of assault rifles. So, little fun fact there. Little fun fact there. Battlegrove headquarters almost got the medics ready there for Isis Kreutz. Both sides closing into the 10 minute mark. Have yet to choose a doctrine. Longer the guard said, more likely it's Overwatch here from Isis Kreutz. And of course, again, your sector assault howitzers and all that sort of stuff there. Luff of ground forces could, in theory, happen. I mean, it's also got the air support stuff there, but typically tends to be, I find, less likely. But again. That's all the thing with Orbital Commander's Doctrines. Most players increasingly just choose them for like either like the Jaegers or they choose them for the like air support abilities a lot of the time. Left cow there for Jimmy. So we can get the flak half tech could take out that stuff can hurt Iceland's Crotch a great kill here for Jimmy in the early game, stood by veteran 2 1. Big flank here, they're to try and assist here. Flak half tech narrowly escapes the wrath of Jimmy and the first armor division. Fulks is being a slightly off flank there and retreated. 50 cal here for Jimmy. We've got 472 to 148. Again, so far, Jimmy exerting fairly good map against uh, Iceland's Kreutz. Leveraging his pressure quite effectively, just keeping Iceland's Kreutz dancing about here and there with no real focus or much ability to like, try and turn the game more offensively against Jimmy. Up here, nothing further happening. We've got the weapon max, we've got no bars yet. Definitely want to get some of those going. I just caught with MD34, but still no doctrine. Heading westwards here, very good. Heavy 
that is going to be caught by the fifth gallant in the open league suppressed here as it lays down some intense fire pack on Fulton pushing back. Lieutenant moving forwards here. A kettling forward step. Stuart Light tank with five kettles from these. We got the Fulton two post catch off score there, pushing them back. And flag up to golf providing excellent fire support. He's yet to get any kills, but it's still close. Veterans one there. Good double bars up there for Jenny, but still no doctrine. And 75 cents Kreutz there. Both sides could consider taking up soon here. Of course, for Isis Kreutz, there's a slight benefit in, say, getting out some orbital garden, though he probably doesn't want to get them. And for Jenny, I guess there's the main here. Beyond that's not really much sign. There's still catching the flag half check here. Definitely a bit risky there. Fire says quite not touch away. Dub didn't like that. Oh well, folks have been caught by the double rifle sports there with our bars. Looks like neither has been double. Oh, actually one has been double barred. But there you go, caught by the flag half track just in time here. Sure, the forces don't get completely overrun, but still the position is completely untenable. That's the Stuart Light Tank arrives, forcing retreat there. West side finds some action again. And Jim, they're having nothing days quickly pushed back. Sturm Puny have engaged with the Stuart Light Tank. Kind of Panzer Schreck there. Back here, nothing further happening there. And similarly, the Isis Kreutz space is a bit quiet. We have the 11, almost 12 minute mark. And both players continue to sort of dance about that doctrine. Ralph's going about against the flag captain from another side. Very good. Definitely makes the situation in much more pressure for Isis Kreutz. And looks like it's going to force him to retreat, which I think is the right decision there. West side is making better progress there. Go, we got a counter attack here. But the MDF force should catch the counter attack here and give uh, Kreutz the chance to beat it off. Those folks are taking a lot of damage in the process since the MDF force does take slightly longer to suppress them. They also want to get those going there for the rest of the field point, to be honest. Now the side taking up both sides. Also putting roughly almost the exact same amount of manpower, which is quite fascinating. In fact, they're almost loading the exact same amount of resources. Like, Jimmy's got slightly more on fuel and manpower, but slightly less than munitions. But they're sort of roughly filling the same up. There you go. Isis Kreutz finally taking up. They're definitely breaking that. And, oh, we do get to take this one out here for Jimmy. Black after causing it repairs. Still engaging the full scan idea. They got most of the troops now equipped with the BAR, the Browning Automatic Rifle, a World War One air weapon. Stuart there, close to a T2. Grab the same point of the rifle squad. Tech halfway done, or major halfway done there, eight on the field. Shwea, BAM actually has arrived, going to be set for the Shwea Punter Quarter by the railway. Isis across down, push back here, Jimmy a bit more effectively. East side, we got the full surface of our squad there. Still a doctrine, fifth coming about there fairly aggressively here. Racing from the MD 34 on the west here, pushing for the some fuel point. A lone full squad can hope, again, hope to hold off against two rough squads. I think that's pretty optimistic here. And yeah, he just retreats. I think this is the correct decision. We also got pushing for the western victory point there. East side here, smaller. Assembly there, Fulton is going to try and push for the eastern fuel point. But again, there is going to be. No, apparently not a small enough force, like a large enough force, I mean, to cope them off. In fact, it seems to be sufficiently small enough, for, like Isos Cross did what he wants there, which is great, basically get the field back. Now he's pushing out the fifth cup, which leaves to be flanked here. If Isos Cross pays attention, there you go, and that does force retreat here. Trucks it out there for Isis Cross, very good. The turn of the bazooka is going for the flat calf track. Close to getting in there, but I think he needed double bazookas to have like a chance finishing off here. And sadly, he did not go for double bazookas on that lieutenant. 396 is 142. Both players still no doctrine. We're slowly approaching the 20 minute mark, at least the 15 minute mark, and there is no sign there. We do get orbs done. So Isaac Christ is definitely coming to a, a lot of infantry. He's also not authorizing, so. Again, still could be Lufa for just for the airborne assault. Or it could be again Overwatch for Sector Assault. But it does highlight again this sense you're seeing some Obokumas players like they have these doctrines, but a lot of the time it just tend to boil down to like maybe one, two abilities. Like again, typically it's like the airborne ability in the case Overwatch, the Aegis, and the Obokumas, they like, you know, maybe it's either smoke bombs or it's the Falchi Megas. But there's like a lot of things that typically tend to never get used at all. Ops on there ready with the should be upgrade there with the MD34. There we go. Eastern Victor Pond seized here. As for Jimmy, I mean there's plenty of choices. For whatever reason though, he's not picking any. So again, 
could be just going for the uh, tactical body for the Calliope and the P-47s, or there might be something else here. We'll have to see, but... Doom Pianeting with the cannon, we got Rifle Corps pushing forward for freedom and democracy. And there we go. Anti tank gun, aka the cannon, I've already had this court, so the Pupchen. And Greg Van Ansekrit in the Stuart Light tank. On the west, we got the full skins of the Rifle Squad team. Definitely a bit outgunned with heavy cover. They may just be able to hold up for the Germans a bit longer there. Let's see, I do think long term it is a bit of a lost court. Yeah, just retreat. Spool's got a second, fifth Kaladi for Jimmy. Stung though to look like he might be planning here rifle company since he's saying that lot of resources not oh he's going for the Sherman so yeah tactical support seems a lot more likely at this point also should just go for like rifle company calling for the C8 could also open up for some other stuff like white phosphorus half tracks plenty of good things there for Jim to go for but again starting to look a lot like tactical support. Stood moving in Sherman halfway done. Got a lieutenant with a bazooka and a BAR. Flag cover with a half eight of it, and you too. Most Mavitol game remains very much Jimmy's. I said, Scott, I feel like he's like going to try and get a bit more aggressive, obviously. And he's about to get hit by a Sherman tank top. The suit's going to be a bit tough here, I said, Scott, but at the same time, you know, you got at some point trying to get a breakthrough. Flag half tech close to two, there you go, bazooka teaming in though. Well, bazooka team, it's more like one guy with bazooka, and then the rest, you know, just like there, it's like to encourage him. You go, Carl! You go! You show those German panzers what for! West side here, folks are being overwhelmed now, we've got the Sherman in there, high explosive rounds, adding the fifth cal down top for added anti infantry, based on them being hammered by the flag half tech being absolutely mauled and decimated. About to wipe that folks can squat there. Okay, and there you go, Panzerfaust there from Dietrich, damaging the M the Sherman, leaving the crew quite uncomfortable about the entire situation. Slowly approaching the 20 minute mark now, and there's still no sign of a doctrine, definitely a bit uh, concerning. And if you look at the center, we've got Fion 34 to Fion 34. Black coming forwards, close to Bethany 2 here, Sherman being fixed up. And yeah, tax support here for Jimmy in the end, no real surprise. I mean, you can't have gone for it sooner, so it's like, you know, the light machine guns or an anti aircraft half track. There's a lot that he could have done with it sooner, so you know, again, and we have seen players do quite well with their Garage Corps getting wiped, good set up there by him. Betty 2 flat half tracks, as always like to point out, are incredibly good versus infantry as they get a damage bonus, and that also makes them fairly good versus retreating infantry. So definitely punishing uh, Jimmy there. Still, no doctrine for Kites, but again, guessing I'll watch a Luftwaffe and... Solely just for like the air assault abilities, effectively. Again, if it goes Luftwaffe, again, it could also be for the Stuka smoke drop. And like, in a like, you know, really ideal world, he might even make use of it for Valiant Assault. But, you know, realistically, he's not going to do that. Also, of course, we got the P-Fod some straight from Some players actually make use of that, and it's actually quite devastating to, like, leverage correctly. It's just most players aren't, you know, concerned with that. There's some pushback here. We've got Fultz pushing up the eastern side. Sham there fixed up again here for Jimmy. He needs to get it going again here for freedom and democracy. Rollos and Krauts in the center of the Major there. He's just being met with Major firepower from the Germans, taking heavy losses, and only the Major survives. There we go. Panzer come flying for us from Jort here for Isis Kreutz and for Deutschland. Still engaging here the Fultz could consider calling in the Calliope to just blast through German positions with a vast array of rockets. Well, of course, obviously, if Jimmy does that. But now, as this cross is the one control the map, he partly again the flak half tech and the is having, having more impact. And I think also the addition of the Orbs Garden, which puts him into having a, a lot of infantry, which also means map control becomes easier for him. Plus, getting that wipe, I think, also makes it harder for Jimmy to maintain map control. Again, highlighting the need for infantry. Infantry ultimately are the core component of your force. <clears throat> Smokes from down here from the Sherman. Two thumbs up. Stood here with the flag half attack. Ace level stood by the way. They could take it out. Oh, pop smoke just in time. 
Close call there, the Vaz and Skreutz. Dipped up running, coming from the centre, and there you go. Panzerkampfang, the Ars von Gilt, out here, Vaz and Skreutz, and Deutschland. Should, of course, add the pin. I'm seeing at the 20 minute mark, though, and Eisenskreutz still hasn't chosen a doctor, which is, you know, 20 minutes is just like, you know, the card up one size, like you typically way want to go for a doctor, but it's just like, you know, 20 minutes, you typically almost unlock everything. So at that point, like, you know, you usually like at the like last abilities, and it's like, you know, you typically miss out on a lot of those doctrines a lot of the times. So it's like, you know, why not pick some doctrines you might make more use of? It's like, you know, shall I say my official opinion? And something like, you know, Jimmy's got a bit of that, like, you know, why not go for something else? We're more likely to like more, more use of the rest of the stuff. We got the major Emily's to upgrade to bazooka teams, and now they actually got a larger amount of bazookas. So that's a total of four bazookas. That's a lot of bazookas, by the way. They can lay down some serious fire. Isis Crotch will like to aim for the shoots, but still, no sign of dot. And Jimmy here can go for the Calliope now. The M4 Sherman Calliope. Which again, I'm guessing he's going to go for just like trying to hammer his way for Isis Crotch in from support weapons. Grab these and victory point here. Does so far, Jimmy <clears throat> remains hesitant. Perhaps I actually plan to go for the M36 Jackson tank destroyer. That is an option. <laughs> there we go. It is in fact Jackson. Although he's flooding a lot of manpower, it's like he probably should consider some sort of tiller. In which case, you know, mortar could be a fairly decent addition. In fact, I'm surprised he didn't go for that, but overall, not great for Jimmy at this point. He's floating that much manpower. I feel like he could be using his manpower at least somewhat more efficiently. Ooh, did get the MG34 though. He only wiped it though, so you know it's going to be like a slim old manpower dip here for Kreutz and the loss of the experience, but you know, it's something. It is actual harm, it is damage, but it's not like you know, so it's a long lasting damage. Still does the flat half track. Jackson almost done. Almost got the flak half track here, but oh, gets it. Can the Shrap Panther quarter finish off the suit? No, it gets away. Close call though. Western field thing under guy. Once more being attacked here by Iceland's Kreutz. Folks gonna this raiding away. Machine and Seasonego pushing up through the center. No smoke from here though from Iceland's Kreutz. Nothing from the light infantry gun. And no say look for ground forces. He's flooding a lot of munitions. 300 by the way. So again, main match getting strong. Overwatch or look for ground forces. Wipes for again. Their assault, you know, airborne assault abilities, or you know, air assault abilities. Not airborne assault. That you know, give the, in, in, you know, the idea to be like paratroopers, but no, just air assaults. Jackson holding back here for Jimmy. Just enforcing healing. The west side of the pressure force with Jimmy. Freedom and democracy. Catching the folks out in the open. Pants on the move here, catching the right foot there, shoots and misses. Lucky there for Jimmy. Good hit from the Kedmaffa. Jackson shoots greatly on the Pants for the punch through the armor with ease. A Kedmaffa, the Lancer, a great return hit there on the Jackson tank destroyer, punching through its armor with fairly good ease as well. Pierce there fixed up the Stuart Light tank. Bob's on pumping into the mighty shit of uh, Germaness. Smoking off here from Iceland's Kreutz, very good, thumbs up. Nice to see both sides using smoke screen, by the way. Very nice. Now, if you get just get Iceland's Kreutz uses Doctor as well, that'd be very nice too. But so far, Iceland's Kreutz seems to be not particularly keen on that. On west side here, we've got the swimming force backed up by numerous infantrymen. Jimmy, though, is floating a oh, lot of manpower. Again, like, he could consider mortars, he could consider, like, some caches, he could consider for the captain and fan tank guns. But I do think Jimmy needs to, like, use some of that manpower more efficiently, and there we go. Finally got a fog squad wipe. Almost got the second one wipe. I mean, this gem with this high explosion, as you can see, that can be really devastating. Fog's moving about here, heading eastwards. Kevin in pursuit by the rifle squads. And another 50 kill there for Jimmy. Ah, huh. no, I'm sure that's the greatest choice. Sure Simply when the opponent's like, oh, he got summoned, so he just keeps adding machine guns for it to shoot at. Though again, Isis Kreutz, lag of a doctrine is also one of those. Hmm. He's replacing his false gun with so that more orbs are done. I mean, that's you know, good. That's something we want to be replacing them with. 
But it does beg the question, if he's not going to go for another panther fall, what is he thinking? Is it like a panther? Yak panther? Probably not that. Is it a king tiger? We got another lightning gun. He fires his Kreutz, meaning very likely it's going to be a king tiger for Kreutz versus Jimmy. The Koenig's Tiger. The Tiger 2. Or Tiger B. How a lot of names like that. Head from in forwards. We got 297 to 32. Eastern side, we got the full Skinnity advancing on the eastern point. We got the 5th to deflect that assault and just shoot it to bits. Panther landing nice hit, 11 kills there. All of a sudden, dealing with the flanking Rob Squad, backed up by the MD 34. And there we go. Attila called in by the Major before running away. There we go, right in the east here. Western side, we got a bit of pressure from Jimmy. Isis Kreutz, as we are slowly approaching the 30 minute mark, still remains, you know, just he hasn't picked the doctrine. And there you go, we do get the Calliope here for Jimmy now. The M4 Sherman Calliope. One of two rocket attack tanks the Americans operate with is also the Sherman Whizbang, which fired even larger rockets, but fewer of them. There you go, Bungle combined with job lobs on that. He's an absolute gauntlet from straight out of hell here. For the Lieutenant Panther rushing in, there we go. Could see a YP Jackson already. Calliope needs to get out of there. Step on it, Charles. And there you go, Lieutenant exterminated here by the Germans. Ruthlessly wiped out. But there we go. That's actually a pretty good Calliope target if Jamie Cause is aware. He could, of course, do some light reconnaissance here, either with the Major or something else. Recon flight. Or the buff, you know, line of sight on the Major because no one uses these air reconnaissance abilities. So, fairly decided. You know, let's give the Major more line of sight. I always find that was to be a bit of a backhanded buff to the Americans. Hey Andy, yeah? The American players aren't using the air reconnaissance abilities and are complaining about not having line of sight. Uh, just buff the Major then. You know, the guy with the air reconnaissance ability. Alright Andy. And who stood up the foot's gonna do you see? Calliope flying away here. Straight at the MG34. Utterly annihilating the crew. Yep, yeah, there we go. Crew annihilated. Almost got the Kim behind it as well. Pretty amazing stuff. Kreutz floating almost 400 munitions. But yeah, he's... He's definitely thinking King Tiger there. Like, he would to, like, you know, somehow take the TV screen to, like, the head of Eisen's Kreutz. That could, like, you know, visualize plans. It would show a big fat King Tiger. A bunch of dead Americans from state lines over them. Sturman Eastwood's here. Fifth gunning body in the east without the folks with the Stuart Light tank. 16 kills, East level. But also at this point, Jimmy might want to consider switching out the Stuart for like something like the Jackson's crew or the Sherman, like just get modes like, you know. A more higher priority vehicle at this stage of the fight. So, so imagine what like, experience doing something more useful by again providing the Jackson with more, you know, potency faster. It's like, you know, that's one thing the American players can do, it's just most American players now make use of this, despite it being, you know, fairly powerful in the right circumstances. Still, Isis Scrotts on the ground here, and he's still insisting on not picking a doctor. I mean, come on, Kreutz. Make a pick. You silly sod. Calliope there, close to firing again here. And there we go, finally at the 29 minute mark, Isis Kreutz feels apparently the hand of God upon him. Or my hand, I'm not entirely sure which one. Either way, telling him he needs to pick a damn doctor, and he finally chooses Overwatch with the Light Infantry Recon Squad, early warning systems for the Fatherland. Like the Fed Habits Axine Artillery and the Sector. So, Eric comes here from Jamie. They cause they could have used the cheaper one from the Major. And again, no one ever uses that one. <laughs> aircraft is shot down. Very good work here. You have to use the anti aircraft mode there. Thumbs up. Channel Bound, the double ops on there, pushing them back. Excellent hit there. It's 15 kills, 32 there. Clive Badge on the cannon from the center, though most of the rockets are spectacularly missing. Could have driven that, I think, a bit closer there. But they're going to come through. Actually, expires. As the rockets tear through them, burst in the lungs and other internal organs in the process. I'm going to my camera over there, going the eastern point here. 
Got the cannon to destroy. He still needs the mechanized regiment for the King Tiger, though. He nails have too many units to be anti going for like a panther instead. We'll have to see, but uh, it's not that Iceman's Cross is just being silly. Tunnel Ponce left here versus Jamie's 332. That's identifying down the lieutenant. Panther going for the Sherman. Shoots, misses. Close the little rifle squad and suppress to the fifth car. Very nice. We got a bazooka bar left behind there. Smoke shooting again. Thumbs up. Tides the sprites. I mean, both sides have made use of smoke. The Iceland squad they make you know more consistent use of smoke here compared to Jamie who used it once. Looking to attack him the sand. Tom's got fifth cup. They also close the market with Sherman here. Fifth car there murdered. We've probably got double anti guns here for Isis Kreutz. And we got the straightening run here. P47's unleashed upon Isis Kreutz's position. Jackson flanking the Panda 4. Causing some damage there. Obviously on the move once more here for Isis Kreutz. Deutschland, the second Panzer D. Sean. West side here with the Sturm Pioneer. Smoking again there. Live moving forwards. So what is a Dyson's Cross? Will it be a Panther after all? Will it be a Panther 4? Will it be a Yak Panther 4? Why are you actually planning for the King Tiger? Like, just spend some of that fuel, man. Also, some of that munitions. Good lord, 500. You could have been laying down tons of mines as well. They're definitely like, you know. Thumbs down there, I'd say the Tarsus Croats in terms of like his resource expenditures and like the you know, tech, definitely fairly inefficient stuff there, fairly inefficient, not commendable and definitely something I think most players should avoid falling into. He does end up going for the Panther, the Panzer Kampf, maybe he had to go for King Tiger but realises that's going to take too long, it's going to be too much of a resource investment, he doesn't have the population for it most likely either, so you know, he just goes for the Panther which is ultimately going to be fast then. You know, still more efficient than the King Tiger, not that he's saying a lot. Meanwhile, we got another Jackson for Jimmy. I feel like, though, both sides are focusing too much on the side here. Like, there's no attempt, like, flanking around him, catching the other bastard off guard, some flanking maneuvers or anything like that. It's just, like, you know, what I call the snap fight stage. Like, you know, some players, they tend to get, like, you know, not too aggressive, not too passive, just potentially, like, these matches where they just slap each other around, like, you know, trying to, like, deliver some solid punches and, you know, deep dive, they just slap each other. And that's kind of the sort of face we hate at. Like, it's just you know, like this slapping each other. In this case, it's the slapping cost and contest with the Navy rules. First man to die loses. The Panther out here fires his Kreutz. Coming up here, 18 kills. So will this spur Iceland's Kreutz has some greater sense of blitzkrieging? I mean, again, he's got orbs and done. He's got jump on the Pantrix now. He's got the air support. He's got, like, some armor. He's even got blitzkrieging on his Panther 4. Like, good blitzkrieg push here. Could allow him to push through there. And I think, oh, well, Jimmy. Particularly since Jimmy right now so extended, like, good armor focus push somewhere. Could deal with him. Sham the Arc Cody by the Panther and the Sturm Pioneer. Panther at the center here. No support yet. Fifth color being up the maneuver as well here. Panther pushing forward. Pen pushing added. Shoot, misses the Sherman. But I can see there now. Jimmy is completely caught off guard. His falls are overextended. He doesn't have the second Jackson. Like, his bazooka team's never seen. Like, he's just completely caught. Like, unprepared. In disarray. Overextended. And just Isis Crotch is pushing through here with fairly good ease. And he's yet to unleash the air support here. Clive be firing into the infantry. Panther will need to carefully. Orbs are getting blasted. At this rate, you could just go for another Panther if you wanted to, I guess. Panther taking heavy damage and force back. Blitzkrieg there. No air support called in, perhaps. So we've got 19 between 32. Can soon get that. Jackson just needs to use a few more units here versus Isis Kreutz. Jackson pushing 40. Panther will pull back further. There we go, second Jackson tank shot for Jimmy, Freedom and Democracy, the first armored division. Send 
Let's we'll see, of course, what Isis Crotch happens to do next. But again, a bit more aggressive, but, you know, quick reverts back to the slap phase. We're going to let's start with the fifth cover off squad, the Jackson Tank Destroyer. We're chasing the Panthers. That's easy to fake. Back in action. In this case, what you call triage when it comes to repairing tanks. So, thumbs up there. Another can. If I want to just go for another Storm Pony, it's called equipped with a Panzer Shake. Because, again, that can see excellent repairs in your armor. Plus, again, you still get, like, the anti tank stuff. So, I think that'd be a better combo here for Isis Kreutz at this stage of the fight rather than the another can there for if I have to be perfectly honest. Like, I think people sleep too much in Storm Pony and just having faster repair speeds. Like, you'll see, you know, other armies get multiple stuff to repair things, but again, when it comes to the Opel Commander Vest, they will always only get one Storm Pioneer Squad. Like, it used to be because they actually just one Storm Pioneer Squad could just fix everything super fast, but they nerfed that. So now I kind of need two Storm Pioneer Squad, but most players there have yet to get the memo or they refuse to accept it. I believe it in mine heart that he can still repair as fast. My god, Jürgen. Do you beg for Amazon, you doom cough? There's Panther pushing forwards here. Not the greatest attack here. Fires has crossed and himself extended. Not really again pushing an aggressive. But at the same time, Jimmy's also kind of like strung all over the place here. We got 19 arms of 320. And he's floating so many munitions. Like, really, just Isos Crotch has been mining so much more. Definitely, you know, some things lacking there for Isos Crotch. But again, Jimmy could also have been a lot more active. And again, both sides suffer from the, you know, lack of focus on the flanks and not maneuvering the other chap. Trotting away the Isos Crotch, going for a Goliath. Okay, this is time to expend munitions on something. So, thumbs up there to Crotch. At least we're getting somewhere. Kinda. Another Clive Barrage here from Jimmy. The slapping continues. The Clive was sending some slightly more vigorous slapping with a few insults sprayed in there. Your mother is a hamster! And your father smelled of hamster! You got the quote wrong, you doomkopf! God damn it! Blasting eastwards there. Catch the troops out in the open. Bunched up the Panther can use some damage. Looking at the Jackson. Storm punch on the camera there. We could see the Jackson go down here. Panther fourth to like the infantry. And Goliath caught. But he takes out the Jackson. Storm pushing forwards here. There we go. Four bouts. Deutschland forwards here. Made size in this Kreutz. Calling the air support. Go full Deutschland. And I think the Storm Pine is. Oh, they got a bazooka too. Devin getting some punch here. Panther, Panther on the move here. You can see that Jimmy's losing a lot of ground. He's still technically got a lot of armored forces, but he's... Uh... Yeah, we got the air support called in. He's all bunched up in his base. And there's not like a lot of room for his armor to hide in his sight. The base will get spotted here by the Luffer. And there you go, Jack getting hammered here. Panther from Forge, where's the Panther? It's going up. He's catching the sham. They're packed up again by some other stuff here. Stood down with that. Jimmy basically surrenders. His spirit broken here by the sheer might of the German army's advance here. And basically just being pushed back into his base and basically with a wall back to the wall. He is, you know, kaputted. So there you go. GG game over. Bit of a slow match again. At times again we fall into that, you know, pattern some players have a tendency at this stage to just end up slapping rather than look like for you know good attacks. They just slap and hope like, you know, someone messes up and again, you know, starts crying. And then you just hope to push through there. So definitely like some more room for maneuvering there. And again, Isis Kreutz. Jimmy both needs to, like, you know, get more active with choosing the doctrines. There's been a lot of ground and room lost, but they couldn't be done more with the doctrines. Jimmy, or Isis Court, sort of needs to, like, start bloody well laying down mines. Definitely not cool there either. But there you go. Hope you got this match on the list. I still think some good elements to it, but again, it does suffer that place where, again, you sort of see with some players that just don't know to handle it. How once we get like, to the late game, they tend to get very passive and, you know, very timid. Like, they just lack that you know, aggressive spirit they normally have in the early game, and they just, like, you know, they just get very, very concerned. Like, you know, like a really little dog barking, and then suddenly, like, you know, the fence gate is open, and suddenly, like, you know, it's like, oh, shit, I have to, like, you know, you know, actually, like, follow up on my box, and that's sort of the same situation, like, you know, suddenly, like, okay, I got all these cool tanks now, 
Now I have to use them. It's like, oh shit, I didn't read my Guderian. So, anyways, hope some lessons there for there. Again, if you did enjoy, subscribe, like, share, comment. Do consider donating or pledging on Patreon. This is Impelling Cheers. Thank you for watching. I'm Shelter again for another episode. Bye.